Do you know what the failure rate of an ID block is? Across the world, oh. the failure rate has to be a very high potential for 25%. In a paper by Hochman and others in the States some years ago, they took x-rays by putting ID block in particular needles, so length 27 gauge, one and a quarter inch needles, through bits of meat and then they x-rayed what was happening to those needles bearing in mind that dental needles are beveled only on one side mm. you push a beveled instrument of that nature through soft tissue it will always deviate to the side towards the bevel mm -hmm. so they studied this and what that means is that when you're holding a handheld syringe and you aiming for the lingula because you always have to be above or at least in line with the lingula to get anesthesia for the inferior alveolar nerve. If you're using a straight instrument and that arrow's going straight, the needle's going straight, but then curves down as you're doing it, and there's lots of x-rays that we were then able to show with this curved needle, and it dips below the lingula, that's a failed anesthetic. Mm -hmm. So when eight people aim low or when the needle curves low. So even if you're aiming really high, which is what I advocate, go really high, go too high rather than too low. But if your needle then bends, you're still going to fail because 25% of the time it can either go up 25%, down, left or right.